All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and plop her on my mannequin head really quick just so you guys can see what we're working with. She does come pre-plugged with the middle part, so y'all know we don't have much work to do at all. One thing I love about this unit is the contrast of blondes, okay? You got to leave a little bit of brassiness, like, in there, and it's just super cute. I'm just going to do a little bit of finger detangling before I put it on my head. So well, this is what the lace is giving us. And as you guys can see, she is cute or whatever. Okay, we got, look sis. So off camera, I did add some cream foundation so we can have that flawless melt. I'm adding my Erica J wax stick because like I said, this install, I didn't do my extra plucking that I normally do. So it is a little bit more denser than I would like. So I do go a little bit OD on the wax stick just so I can have that illusion that the unit is more denser than what it actually is. I'm going in to cut off the excess lace. I cut fairly close to the knots just because I don't like the excess lace just hanging there I just feel like it's a dead giveaway that it's a wig but anyway y'all you can do whatever you like All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna go in and secure my lace down using my got to be glue spray. I forgot to remove the makeup off my hairline and it was preventing the product from actually sticking to the lace. So I had a problem with it, keep li with it lifting after it dries because it was just like too much product. And I don't know where my brain was this day, but it wasn't clicking that I didn't wipe off my forehead. So do that, sis, so you won't be struggling. Also, I say use cool heat. People use hot heat. You can use whatever heat temperature you like. But I feel like when you use cool temperature, you're able to control the product. Because with me in hot heat, when I use hot heat, it dries super quick. And it's dry before I even get to lay it down. So with cool heat, it's, it slowly dries the product. And I'm able to lay it down having it tacky versus just not sticking at all, if that makes sense. All right, guys, so it is adhered all the way down. Um, I am going in to fix this part because I did mess it up because I had a side part and then I switched it back to a middle part. I was like, no, we're just going to leave it in the middle, okay? So now I'm just going again. I added a little bit more wax to make sure both sides are laying super duper flat. Added some concealer to that part because y'all know I love my parts to be super duper crisp and that looks hecka good. So I'm just going to go in with slight baby hairs, y'all. I'm just doing two swoops, okay? So I'm just pulling a little bit of hair out around the perimeter and literally, like I said, my hair is gonna be hanging down, so I just wanted the baby hairs just to peek out just a little bit. So I pulled hair from any place and just gonna cut slightly at an angle, and then I'm just gonna use my got to be gel to, you know, swoop the swoop. And I feel like this is beginner friendly because it's just two swoops. Like sometimes when we try to learn something new, we try to do the whole nine yards when we need to take the yard inch by inch. So I feel like doing two basic swoops were is definitely simple for beginners and definitely simple enough for me. Like, sis, it doesn't look bad for it to not to be actually um, jet black. Because y'all know, sometimes when you do baby hairs on color hair, it be looking weird. But I feel like it didn't look weird. Thank you. 
So after my baby hair is complete, and it takes me some time even to do two swoops, I do like to set it with my got to be glue spray lightly and then add hot heat so I, that I won't have to put my scarf on. Like when I use cool heat, I have to wrap my scarf around it, but hot heat, the baby hairs are side sealed and delivered, okay? I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side, just gonna create a C shape and swoop it back into the hairline. Now I'm just gonna go back in with my hot comb carefully, y'all, because y'all seen that burn on my hand. I did that from my curling wand again. <laughs> Somebody come take these um, tools from me. So lastly, I'm going in with my John Frieda Frizz Ease Extra Shrimp Serum, and I'm just gonna place this throughout my hair. I'm just taking one pump lightly and just placing it through. You don't have to use this. You can use an oil or whatever you have. Just don't OD, because it's gonna weigh your hair down. Um, my hair did get a little bit... <laughs> A little bit frizzy because I had it in the packaging for a minute before I actually installed it so the heat kind of got to it but y'all it's still it's flawless like nobody can tell me nothing right now my god look out this unit look at it do y'all not see these okay it is beautiful definitely a unit I would rock for the fall like I'm ready to get myself some gamba like I feel like I downplayed it by just putting on a t-shirt like I should have really dressed up for this because this unit is that B okay <laughs> Y'all, this unit is so cute. Um, but like I said, y'all, I didn't do no styling. I didn't retouch those curls. These curls are straight out of the box. Like, I love installs that are super quick, simple, and easy, okay? But look, y'all, this is it. Now, like I said, I can't give you a full install because I just installed it or a full overview because, like I said, I didn't go in and customize it. I didn't do no plucking. Um, I did get a little bit of shedding firstly when I went into finger to tangle, um, I got about one snag throughout the finger. Like the curls, I could just run my hands through it. I didn't have a snagging and tagging. I probably had about one, but yeah, this hair speaks for itself. It is super cute and it looks good for me not even having to customize it or, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm rambling at this point. So yeah, all the information in regards to this unit will be listed down in the description section below. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And until my next one, you'll go. We'll see you later. Bye guys.